Hey there, NFL fans. It's your host with the most here. It is Rai Rai. And it's that time once again for to discuss about the Chicago Bears brand new schedule just came out recently for the upcoming NFL season. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully they're going to have a better season than last year. A lot of injuries. A lot of bad decisions this off season. Hopefully the Bears will be smart in the draft this April. I think the end of April. Not really too sure. Um, the Bears were six and ten. I think they were in last place. They're awful, and Bears lost Manfute. I think they lost other key players. So. And I made a video of who the Bears sign and all good stuff. And let's see what happens this season. Now, before the preseason kicks off, sometime in May, they're going to have like a um, training camp. Or not really, um, uh, what is that word called? Um, mandatory. They could just show up, you know. You don't have to be there. But I think sometime in July you have to show up for training camp. That goes all the way through um, August. Then after that is the preseason games. A lot of preseason games will be televised. Um, probably on local TV. Um, then after that, then they have the regular season. That will be on regular TV. On probably Monday Night Football, ESPN, and a lot of hoopla. So, let's begin here. I'm going to discuss about the preseason games, then the regular season, then whatever I feel like discussing about the Bears. August 11th against the defending champions, Denver Broncos. Okay? It's 7 o'clock Chicago time and probably 8 o'clock Denver Bronco time. Um, I could care less about preseason at all because if you're a diehard football fanatic you'll watch every single game but for me I don't give a darn about preseason games it's a waste of time but it's for the new guys or for the rookies the veterans are trying to make the squad still and that's about it and, and, and plus it's for the coaching staff who's gonna be cut you know who's gonna make the roster that's all uh, August 18th at uh, Patriots, Tom Brady and company. I'm not too sure if Tom Brady is going to play or not. I'm assuming he will. Probably play like one quarter or two. He don't, I'm not going to play the whole game because in case he gets injured and he's done for the rest of the year, um, that will be 8 o'clock uh, New England and 7 o'clock Chicago time. That's August 27th um, against Kansas City, 7 o'clock Chicago time. And probably, I'm sorry, not 7 o'clock. That's uh, noon. Chicago time, one o'clock, Kansas City. I'm, I'm assuming that's family night or family day for the family. I never did that with my family before. Um, September first at Cleveland, eight o'clock, Cleveland time, sh Chicago time is gonna be seven. So, I said this over and over. The NFL needs to eliminate one preseason game and add that to the regular season. I guess there are no talks about that. You know. Probably the winter meetings this coming up winter, so they should eliminate that years ago. They don't need three. I'm sorry, they don't need four. They need only need three in their preseason games. But they're just me. I'm just a damn fan. I could complain all I want. Does it really help? Probably not. Okay. Now, um, probably a long time ago, back in the 90s, they used to start the NFL season right around Labor Day. And I was looking forward to that because you could, you know, if you were at school, you know, high school, um, college, or have a job, say, cool, I got something to look forward to on Labor Day weekend. You know, you have to cook out with your family, you got the NFL games, you got college games, but they eliminate that. The NFL starts the week after Labor Day. That freaking sucks. They should go back how they used to do it, but things had changed so that was kind of sucks I noticed that uh, a couple years uh, down the road I did or in the future you know what I'm trying to say 
So I was as a letdown. I guess college starts first, then the NFL. Okay, first game will be September 11th at Houston. That will be the home uh, Super Bowl uh, 51. That's a nice stadium. Uh, they host a couple of balls, Super Bowls back in the past. Um, I think Houston Texans, Houston Texans have a lot of issues. Not too sure if they're going to make the playoffs or not. So you can't really judge on one damn game. This will be at noon in Chicago time. And probably Houston time will be at, at 1 o'clock on Fox 32. Um, September 19th, home home opener against Philly. Um, it's a Monday football game, I think. Let me go look again. Yes. No, sorry. It is Sunday football. My bad. My, my mistake. Okay, I was right. It was um, Monday football, okay? So, against Philly. Uh, September 25th at Dallas. Um, there will be a, a Sunday football also. So, back-to-back -back weeks. Wait, one Sunday, wait, one Monday, one Sunday. Okay, my mistake again. Uh, against Dallas, that'd be 8.30. Dallas time, 7.30. Chicago time and NBC. I love NBC. That's awesome. September, I'm sorry, son of a gun. October 2nd against Detroit in Chicago. And noon on Fox. I hate Detroit with a passion. Uh, October 9th at Indianapolis, you know, Andrew Luck and Company. That's a nice stadium. They need to host other events besides Super Bowl. You know, I'm going with this. Um, at noon on Fox 32 or 1 o'clock in Naples time. Um, October 16th, home against Jacksonville. Noon, Chicago time and 1 o'clock uh, Jacksonville time on CBS. I hate CBS broadcasting for NFL. All the sports is a different thing. Um, October 20th at Green Bay Andrew Luck I'm sorry not Andrew Luck Aaron Rodgers and company 7.25 on CBS that's a stupid time 7.25 what day is that on oh it's a Thursday ooh okay sweet October 31st Home against Minnesota, 7.30. That's Monday Night Football. Wow, that's pretty neat. We got a couple Monday Night Football games, Sunday Night Football games. Um, 8.30, 7.30. Chicago Times, 8.30. Minnesota, and we got a bye week. Bears got a bye week, so they can rest up or whatever. Um, November 13th at Tampa Bay. New coach, new coaching staff. Um, noon, Chicago time. 1 o'clock, um, Tampa Bay. Uh, they used to be rivals back in the day. They used to be in the same division. Then they changed things. Um, November 20th, Eli and the New York Giants. I uh, hate Eli. He's a he's good quarterback, but not as good as his brother. Um, 1 o'clock, uh, New York Giants, you know, Chicago, uh, um, New York time, and 12 o'clock, Chicago time. Uh, November 27th, home against Tennessee. Uh, 12 o'clock Chicago time, 1 o'clock uh, Tennessee time. You'll be on CBS. Then December 4th, home against the Niners. Niners was pretty decent a couple of years. What the hell happened? I don't know what happened. They have a lot of issues, you know. Let's see here. And that'll be at uh, noon on Chicago time and 1 o'clock on. San Francisco on Fox. Then December 11th at Detroit. 12 o'clock Chicago time. 1 o'clock on Fox. Then on December 18th. Home against Green Bay. It's going to be very snowy. I'm assuming this past winter was a mild winter in Chicago and in Indiana. Um, so it'll be at noon in, in Chicago and 12, 1 o'clock in Green Bay. I'm assuming. And December 24th against the division, division champs, Washington Redskins. 
it'd be a home game so we got back to back home games so that is awesome thing um, it'd be at noon in Chicago at 1 o'clock in Washington and the last but not least at Minnesota these January 1st 2017 brand new stadium um, at noon on Fox 32 and if you live in Minnesota or in the area 1 o'clock so most likely Minnesota Vikings gonna host the Super Bowl or any other sporting event. Um, now I cannot predict how the Bears gonna end up. They could be like six and ten again. They could be ten and six. You know, I can't really predict it because I don't feel comfortable predicting the Bears. They might be worse than last year. They may be better than last year. They could be undefeated. I wish. Um, I say, you know what? I'm just gonna give you my prediction right now. Uh, I say Bears will be ten to six. Okay, a little improvement because I really think uh, they're gonna draft very good this April. I think the end of April, Kevin White, the receiver who's supposed to be um, ready this last season, but he wasn't ready. He's gonna be in the lineup. Uh, I know Matthew Matthew Tay is gone. He signed with, I forgot who he signed with, <laughs> forgot, oh yeah, the Jets. He wanted to go to a contender, but I guess the money was not really there for him. Um, I don't know what the Bears going to do, you know. They got had to, they had to stay, they had to start, um, st um, start strong. So the bye week is sometime in October. Can you, can you imagine if they win all these games or be above 500? I'd be okay with that. Don't be like two and five or two and seven. One. Don't be two and eight before um um the bye week. Be like above five hundred. Don't be. I mean that'd be great if you could be undefeated before the um um bye week. But we'll see what happens. Let's see if the bear is gonna. Siam are wheeling and dealing. I know he's saying some players in off season. Now they gotta concentrate on the draft and mini camps. That's what I call it in May. So I'm looking forward to. It. I don't know if I'm gonna go to games this year. If I do, I'll excuse me. I will record it. All that good stuff, you know. So all that good stuff, you know. So I talked to you on the flip side. I really appreciate it. And um, you have a good one, my viewers. And um, I talk to you later, my viewers. I'm looking forward to um, the NFL season. I know it's only April. But you get pumped up for the draft. You know. Hopefully the Bears don't make a total bust. Sometimes when the Bears get, you know, you think they're going to be a, have an awesome player in the draft, and when the season kicks off, it's a total bust. And they're going to have this player for many, many years to come. Bears always F up in the draft. They always do. I don't know why they don't never, ever try to go for, back in the day, I don't know how this is going to do now. They always go for defense. They never, ever go with the offense back in the day. Now they... Probably need both, probably. So I don't know. If I was the general manager, I'd go with my first pick. Probably go with defense, probably. The offense is. No, probably a, another running back because they lost Mephite. He went to a different team. And my dog is barking. So am I here? Have a good one. And you guys go follow me on Twitter. It's TMRA32. And my other links. Or down below. Have a good one. And I'll talk to you on the flip side. Thank you very much for listening for the Special Bears Podcast. Go Bears this fall. We all could hope, huh?